Hello, dear subscriber, and welcome to this the lesson number eight. The name of this lesson is Pipes in Series and Parallel. You know, this is the lesson eight of the course Flow, Flow of Fluids in Pump Practice. We have seen in the previous lesson, in lesson seven, how to draw, how to build, how to represent the curve of a pipe system. Uh, and in this lesson, um, we, we will see uh, how to represent the, 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 the curve of a pipe system for system in series and, and parallel. We will only see the, the curve of the system. In the next lesson, we will see the same, uh, I, I mean, we, we will see how to build the cube of a system for the most common cases we can encounter in, in practice, in pump practice. I, I believe that there are five cases. And in the last lesson, the lesson 10, we will combine all, all these with the cubes of the pumps in 3ds and in parallel so let's start with this lesson number eight what we have here is a pipe system in series we have three pipes pipe a with the bigger diameter pipe b with the intermediate diameter and pipe c with the uh, smaller diameter the, f the liquid is flowing from the left to the right, from the cross section number one to the cross section number two. We know that the, if, uh, if the area increases, the velocity or decreases. So we will have the higher velocity at pipe eight. And the, the velocity will decrease when passing through the pipe B and will be still lower at pipe C. If we suppose that uh, all the pipes represented here has half the, the, the same length, so the conclusion is that we will have uh, more pressure losses or the highest pressure losses in pipe C, since velocity will be the highest one of the three pipes. So we will have uh, less pressure losser or lower pressure losser uh, at pipe A, and the highest uh, or will be in contour at pipe C. Just to remark this, because we will represent graphically the cubes, so to be <laughs> to have a logical uh, drawing or, or, a, or a logical curve represented in, in graphite and making this, this remark. So, regarding the flow rate, the, the flow rate at, uh, passing through the, uh, the cross section one will be the same of the one pa passing through, through the cross section two and will be the same in every one of the pipes. And the pressure losses between the cross section one and two will be the sum of the, all the, of the pressure losses corresponding to every one of the pipes. I mean, the addition of the pressure losses at pipe A plus pressure losses at pipe B plus pressure losses at pipe C. Let's represent the cube of head losses in series. Please note that we will represent the pressure losses versus the flow rate and not the total head versus the flow rate because we, will, we would like to separate, to distinguish between one thing and the other to be more clear, of course else it will be, the explanation will be a little bit complicated if, if mixing all the curves in, a, in, a, in, in, in one graphic. So the flow rate will be the same in every one of the pipes. I mean, the total flow rate Q equals QA equal, equals QB equals QC. 
and the personal losses between the section 1 and the section 2 will be the sum of all the pressure losses in every one of the pipes HLA plus HLB plus HLC If we represent this in a graphic of, as I mentioned before, pressure losses versus flow rate the first curve that we will represent is the pressure losses in, in pipe A, HLA the next one with higher pressure losses <laughs> remember the explanation regarding velocity since this has uh, the this pipe ha uh, has a, a higher velocity of the fluid in uh, and considering that the length uh, does does not influence does not impact in this I, I mean the, the the length is equal in both in, in every pipes represented there so we will have higher pressure losses and even higher in the in the pipes with the with the lower diameter i mean the pressure losses in pipe c let's uh, fix a, a value of flow rate qx and as, as you can see in the equation to the left or the at the left of the of this page of, of this slide we will uh, add the pressure losses of every one of the these three uh, three pipes for this uh, constant value of qx uh, to obtain the total pressure loss we will do this for several value for flow rate adding the pressure losses in series and we will obtain the, the total cure or the cure of pressure losses from the section 1 to section 2 the overall uh, pressure loss so the first point that we have is the one that uh, we obtain by matching the, the flow rate with the pressure losses at pipe 8 I mean, this is the value of the pressure losses for this flow rate. The same for, for pipe B, the value of the pressure losses for, for pipe B for this flow rate X, and similar for the pipe C with the higher pressure losses, of course, we obtain the, the value of the pressure losses of pipe C for this value of flow rate X. Let's add this value starting at the pressure loss of for pi C. Also, the value of the pi B, uh, sorry, of the pipe A8, sorry, for the pipe A, and we will obtain the value of the pressure losses, the total pressure losses, the overall pressure losses between the section. One and the section two for this value of flow rate x x. We will do the same for another value of flow rate. We will change the overall pressure losses for this value of flow rate, and the same for another value. And finally, we we can draw the the overall uh, curve of pressure losses between section one and section two. Let's suppose, as represented in this graphic, that we have a difference, a difference in geodetic head between the point 2 and the point 1. Please note that this difference is positive because the, the value of delta z is, is obtained by subtracting the, the head of the geodetic cross section 2 minus the head of the geodetic head at cross section one, since the head of the of the cross section two is higher than the one of the section one, we will have a positive uh, uh, static head. So we will represent this above the the the, the zero value in the graphite 
for example, in, in a system by gravity, that when, when, where we have uh, the, that the section 2 is below the section 1 and the flow uh, runs from the section 1 to the section 2 and the fluid runs from the section 1 to the section 2 by gravity, then we will have <laughs> a negative value and will uh, will be represented below. Uh, we mentioned in the in the past lesson. Well, we have we, we can see here the value of the pressure losses from the section one to section two, starting from zero. Of course, we we, we haven't considered yet the the geodetic head, the static head. Let's represent here the static head. This static head, this static head doesn't change with flow rate. And what do we have to do? To translate, to, to, to transport, uh, sorry, the, the, the curve over the, the value of the static head. Now, for pipe systems in parallel, we have here representing, represented a TD3 cubes in, in parallel. Sorry, three pipes in parallel, pipe A, pipe B, and pipe C. We, we will not focus, we will not pay attention on the value of diameter because it would be <laughs> it could be a little bit complicated. Let's do not do not pay do not pay attention for our purpose here to diameter. So the flow is moving from cross section one to 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 cross section two from the left to the to the right. The flow crossing through section one is equal to flow at section two and equals to the sum of every one of the flow of the flow rates uh, by a, per, in, in every one of the pipe that we have. I, I mean it is the sum of QA plus QB plus QC. And what happens with pressure losses is the same in every one of the branches, in, in every one of the pipes connected in, in parallel. Let's represent the same as we have done before, the curve of head losses in parallel. Not the, the total head, but the head losses only versus flow rate. Now we, we know that the, the the flow rate q passing through section one and two, the total flow rate equals uh, QA plus QB plus QC. And the pressure losses between the section one and the section two will be the same by every one of the branches represented there. I mean equals HLA equals HLB equals HLC. Representing this or drawing this in, in, in this graphic, the same as before, only head losses versus flow rate. Now we have to fix, of course, a constant value of the pressure losses because pressure losses are constant by every one of the branches. Uh, we have named this HL1, 1, 2, uh, X. If we draw the, the first one of the pressure losses versus flow rate curve HLA, let's see that we obtain the flow rate Q8 at a point where the this curve match matches the 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 pressure losses HL12 constant value that we have selected. The same happened for the second pipe, pipe B. We will obtain at this point of intersection the flow rate QB. And the same happens for the third for the third pipe. HL3, where we obtain, or we can see the flow rate QC. Now we have to add 
all these losses in parallel for this value of pressure loss that we have already selected. The first one is HLA. We will add here this value. The second value of pressure losses or head losses will be HLB. We will add here and we will obtain the, a point of the, this point of the total or the system or overall pressure losses. If we do the same for several points, for example, ah, ah, oh, sorry, for this point we will obtain the value of QEX that is obtained by the addition of the of QA plus QB plus QC. We have obtained this other point for for a different or a lower value of the constant value of the head losses, and this for a higher value of head losses also constant. Then we, we we can draw the 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 curve the the overall curve or pressure losses versus flow rate for this system. Let's do the same. Now we will consider the difference in head, in geodetic head, between the section 2 and the section 1. To the right we have, at the right we have represented, we have drawn the, the, the cure of the pressure losses versus flow rate without considering uh, the, the static or the geodetic head. Just represent here the geodetic head, delta Z, uh, 1, 2, and how we have to proceed to, to, to draw or to build the, the total head, the, the curve of the total head versus flow rate of this system, simply by moving uh, this curve of pressure losses above the, the static head. I mean by adding the the pressure losses over the the static head for every one of the of the flow rates represented in this curve. Well, this is all for today. As I mentioned <laughs> in the introduction of this lesson, in this lesson, in the next lesson, sorry, we will analyze different cases of different systems, the most common system that we can encounter in, in practice. Of course, it, is, it, it will be in, in lesson number nine. And in the last lesson, the lesson 10, we will combine all these with the curves of, the, of pumps. We will see how to combine a system with, with, with pumps in series, with pumps in parallel. I will be waiting for you in the next lesson. So, adios, hasta luego, bye bye, arrivederci, so long. I will be waiting for you, bye.